Good evening. So glad you could join us tonight. I'm Brendan Clark. I'm glad you're here with us. I'm Erin Morgan. Tonight, a year-long battle between the Charleston Exchange Club and CARTA over six acres of land is continuing to heat up. Certainly is. CARTA held a board meeting this afternoon where members of the Exchange Club voiced their concerns. Sophia Radebaugh was there and has more from that meeting. Good evening, Sophia. Hey, Brendan and Aaron. Well, that six acres of land you're talking about, CARTA is trying to use it for a park and ride facility that they say will serve thousands, if not millions of people here in the low country every single day. But the Exchange Club says they take that land, it'll disrupt their operations for the fair. Now, today at a board meeting, they presented a second option to CARTA for reconsideration. It's been back and forth between the Exchange Club and CARTA for a while now. So if we have a parking ride in this parking lot, it's going to affect our ability to park patrons closer to the gates. The battle between the two is over six acres of land on the fairgrounds that CARTA wants to use for a park and ride facility. This is a project that we've been working on for a number of years. Um, we've done it cooperatively. We've done it in public. CARTA officials saying the park and ride will increase mobility in the low country, but the Exchange Club says it'll completely mess up their operations. They say those six acres are used for their premier parking, not just for the fair, but also for events year round. If we have a parking ride in this parking lot, it's going to affect our ability to park patrons closer to the gates, and it's also going to affect our traffic flow. At CARTA's board meeting this afternoon, the Exchange Club presented a second option, a different portion of the fairgrounds on the other side of the front entrance. They say moving the space would accomplish the same goal for CARTA without disrupting their operations. And that's the part that we don't understand. Why are they so insistent that they take our primary parking? But CARTA officials say the land they're proposing has not been federally approved for a grant would set them back in this process for years. We would have to go and change the whole thing. It would really put us in a place where we would probably lose our position in line for that grant. And we are not, this board is not going to, I can assure you, jeopardize a $375 million federal grant at this point of the, of the process. And Chairman Seeking says if these two groups cannot get on the same page soon, then there may be legal action taken. For now, live in North Charleston, Sophia Radebaugh, Count on Two. A popular spot for 